Welcome to another episode of All the Matter First. In this series, we're into your furries. Get to know a little bit more about the furry fandom. One first suitor at a time. So we are here in Springfield, Missouri, doing an interview live here at the airport. Well, well, it's far away from the airport area. As far as we can do it, you know, actually do it. But anyway, today we're here going to interview another first suitor. And their name is, girl, please, Kenora Fleffball. And he's actually a first shooter from Germany. So it's going to be really awesome. We're going to interview him, get to know a little bit more about him, and just, yeah. I'm actually here with two of my friends, and that is Rusty Ford and Wyoming. So you get to see them during the questions. It's going to be awesome. So without further ado, let's get into it. Yes! So as always, I'll ask each first shooter questions, and that is the same here with Kenora. So as always, I'm here with my friend Wyoming. And let's get to the first question. And Rusty, will you read us that question, please? Who made your fursuit? Yes. Well, my fursuit was made by Aaron Studios, which is a fursuit uh, builder from the US. And um, it is owned by Whitey Fox. Uh, he did his th this fursuit already in uh, 2009, so it's 12 years old now <laughs> and and well um, you can see that the quality is amazing I can still run around and do everything in it and I'm, I'm really happy about it so yeah uh, big ups to Aaron Studios <laughs> so now for the second question my dude Kenor and that question is take it away Wyoming yes what is it like being a furry in Germany well Germany is a very um, well tolerant and and open country so the people here are like like they, they don't really care of course the the young generation is pretty curious and they want to know what is going on and stuff but basically everybody is really okay with it and uh, it's it's really fun to be here in germany as a furry <laughs> you can do a lot of stuff and uh, even in the public media the the stuff is really actually good so we have uh, good documentaries and doc re good reports uh, on tv and therefore it's pretty good here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now for the third question, and that is... What has been your greatest experience since you joined the furry fandom? Um, there are a few, like, really good experiences um, which I could point out. Um, but one of them uh, especially was um, a situation in, uh, in the city of Düsseldorf. And in that city, I, I was first sitting with a few others, and we walked, uh, like, right next to the Rhine River. Which is, which is a really nice uh, river there. And, well, there was um, a group of people um, taking care of, uh, yeah, disabled people, like in, in wheelchairs, um, also mentally disabled people. And one of them in a, in a wheelchair was really completely amazed. He has seen me and I was like so, so happy because he was like, ah, ah, I want, I, I want something. And, and he couldn't really talk. So I got, I got to this guy, um, got to the knees and and I got cuddled and and patted by him and he was he was so happy he was almost crying and well basically I was I was almost crying as well that that was like a really amazing experience another one which is kind of similar to that one um, we've been to a children's home uh, here in this area and um, there were some children like from from war zones and 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 yeah really uh, terrific, uh, yeah, places on this on, on this earth, and um, there were some children uh, like without legs, without arms, uh, because of some mines and and stuff like that, and bombs, and they were um, they they had some some specific event for us, and we were there as well. And um, when we've seen those kids, they were happy, they were smiling, and. We just did our like like our task, I would say. We were just like having fun and, and, and trying to, to make them smile and they were happy. Despite all the all the bad things they've they've experienced and all the all the, the pain they suffered and stuff, they just smiled and they were happy. And that was a really amazing moment for me. So yeah, those are really the best experiences. And now for the fourth question. And that question is... What is your favorite drink? My favorite drink is bubble tea, yay! <laughs> um, it's really difficult to get bubble tea in here, to be honest. 
because um, there are not really many stores and right now most of them are closed anyway but um, yeah I love bubble tea yeah, yeah, yeah. and now for the fifth and final question and that is for you Kenora of course and what is that one man Rusty? Yuck. What is something positive that has helped you through tough times? Um, I would say well especially my fursuit especially my my, my character is getting me through tough times and of course also all my friends because without friends the life would be like pretty boring I would say and um, I'm, I'm really thankful that I have uh, many friends I can uh, I, I, I can yeah contact and I can yeah have fun with and um, yeah I think especially when I'm like on an event like on a convention or or something else on a, even on a normal weekend it's just amazing to have some friends there and to to enjoy the time together so this is getting me to uh, through the tough times for sure and even now in the corona time uh when well i cannot really meet anybody here except my boyfriend um but even then i have friends i can I can talk to, I have friends I can chat to and of course I still have my fursuit <laughs> so I can be fluffy and, and happy and this makes me happy of course so yeah 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 um, there, there are tough times of course but I think if you have friends if you have something like a passion which is keeping you up um, then everything will be alright at some point maybe the last thing I would like to say Greetings to everybody from um, yeah all over the place, all over the world, South America, North America, Africa, Asia, Europe. It doesn't matter, and Australia. <laughs> um, so yeah, uh, just just uh, um, I know we have we have a hard time right now, and it's difficult with, with uh, the virus and stuff and all the mutations right now. But uh, we will get through this all together. And well, whoever is going to to see this. Um, keep it up and yeah we will make it that's for sure <laughs> I want to give a big thanks to everyone I want to give a big thanks to Wyoming I want to give a big, big thanks to Rusty I want to give a big thanks to Kenora I also want to give a big thanks to just everyone being in this video it would have never happened if it was such a big, big thanks to everyone seriously I want to thank you for your support big thanks to that seriously again thank you so much everyone um, it's going to be awesome videos coming in the future. Just some amazing stuff is going to happen. So, if you guys are enjoying this, be sure to give us a like, subscribe, turn on notifications. But as always, and as always, I wish you a good farewell.